Monster Chief. This is a board specifically designed for bigger guys. We're talking 200 plus range. So an optimum it would be 220 to like 275, even 300 pounds that I designed this board for. And it's not it's not like a big guy learner board. It's a full on high performance board, but built for those guys that usually get the a bad rap when they go in looking for a board at a shop or somewhere. It's just not, there's very rare that you have the board that's proper fit for somebody that's bigger. And um, and so this is the Monster Chief. It's based off of the Monster, so it's incredibly versatile. It has um, it has you know the fuller nose outline, low entry rocker gets into waves easy. Really really driving by having that forward outline. It's got a wider tail block. You can see in the tail block here, it's just, you know, everything's blown out um, into uh, larger proportions. And uh, so you've got a rail that's going to push back through turns, not bury. You've got a tail block that's not going to sink so much that, that it bogs when you're trying to come driving out of a bottom turn. It's going to jump out of that bottom turn because you've got all this area, all this lift. It's got to carry through the dead spots. The <coughs> rails are fuller and boxier than any typical board. Um, this one in particular is a 6'4", 21 and a half, 3 and This would be for someone, say, 6'0 to 6'4", who's in the 230 pound mark. And will be a board that's really responsive, really quick in the small stuff, holds in the big stuff. Uh, the bottom is a deep single to double concave. So it's got a deep single through the middle, and that's a little bit different. The whole contour in the rocker is unique to a surfer who's, who's a bigger guy. And how I change that up is I put a little bit more of a flat spot in between the feet and that's also complemented with just a lot of scoop, a lot of concave right under the front foot. And what that does is that creates a planing area under your front foot. Because uh, bigger guys tend to ride off their front foot a bit more and get a little more of that front foot drive. So if you have a lot of concave under your front foot, that creates lift and drive. And so that's why I kind of shift everything up here as far as concaves go. And then it, it tapers off and splits into a, a double concave off the tail, and, uh, or through the fins, and then just flat off the tail block. Uh, and there's no V e up in the nose. We've got the concave starting from way up here, so you get that immediate drive right off the bat. Gets in the waves easy when you got concave up in the nose, creates a little lift, actually, even on the entry. So with a moderate entry rocker in the nose, that's something that will get you into waves easy, but not be so low that it digs rail if you get waves that have any decent shape. So I want to keep this as versatile as possible. That way, whether it's mushy waves and you got to generate speed, get in early, it's low enough to not be pushing water, but just you know skating along, but still have enough curve, you know, just just in this area here that. If you do get in a bully wave, it's the front end's going to be able to just fit right into the pocket, come off the bottom without hiccuping off your front foot, bring around a top turn without having to dig halfway down. So this this particular curve has really been refined over the years, and it's an entry that I found is just really really versatile and safe and covers all your bases, hollow waves, mushy waves, everything, and then. You've got off the tail, you've got tail rocker such that uh, right off the fins, you've got your flatter spot here for speed, but then it hits the fins and it bends back off of the fins. And what that is, that's your, that's your actual, your rocker. So you step on that tail and it's going to, you know, pivot around and redirect and be a board that still turns really good. So. Fast and loose is always a winning combination, and appropriate volume, paddleability, speed through dead spots, but able to hold a rail and push back through turns and match 
someone's weight and build and surfing style. Those are the ingredients that make for a magic board and something that's going to be custom tuned to fit a particular need. So that's, that's what this board is. It's a specialty board to fit a particular need and that's for bigger surfers that want to rip in all conditions. The Monster Chief. So now with the Monster Chief You'll notice on the website there's a list of dimensions, you know, height, weight, liters, all that for, you know, anywhere from 6.0 all the way up to 7.6. And that covers just sort of the parameters of what's, what's available, you know, immediately ready to go type of thing. But what's really neat and what I've specialized in for over 20 years is building custom boards. So if there's dimensions that don't come up right away that look like they're the right fit for you. Mostly what I do, 90% of the boards that I do are custom. But our factory's full of blanks where there's actually a name on the blank, which is a really neat thing because we're not just building boards and throwing them out there and filling up and hoping that they sell, but we're actually building boards for surfers worldwide. And with the Monster Chief as well, um, and let's say you're going to need a 7, 8 or something really uh, different than the dimensions described here in, with this board. Um, they can be built custom and that's really my specialty. That's what I love to do. Personal interaction and making the board that's right for you. So anywhere from 6.0 up to 7.6 plus um, with thicknesses, everything custom tuned, tailor made to be the exact right board for you. Aloha.